Hey folks, Jesus is coming soon. You know, I was thinking, my daddy used to say, if you have a problem in life, look at yourself because 99% of the problem is you. And it's true. You know, facing all these problems that my wife and I have been facing. Three months ago, if I would have listened to her and went to the hospital then, I wouldn't have got as bad as I was. And that's the truth. I should have listened to my wife. But I pushed myself. I kept saying, I'll get better. And then finally, I didn't get better. And I sat on the couch and said, well, I'll either get better or die. So it's safe to say, yeah, you know, with all the problems going on, I just gave up. I didn't care whether I lived or died. But when I saw my wife's face, as I was laying in that hospital bed, not being able to breathe, and her crying, holding my hand, I would wake up in the middle of the night, and she was sitting there holding my hand, praying for me, crying her eyes out. I don't want to give up anymore. Sometimes the problems just seem like there's no way out. And it just stacks and, and keeps stacking and keeps stacking. And I'm like, how are we going to do this? And how are we going to do that? God always gives us a way. Always gives us a way. And yet I always question these obstacles because I'm human. And God always steps in biggest ones right now we're facing we got to find another place to live the landlord's letting us stay extended we were supposed to be out June 1st and we couldn't find anywhere still right now we can't find anywhere but yet every day that I stay here I'm breathing in mold and asbestos this house is was built in like 1941 and it was the first house in this whole town I gotta tell you really how old it is it's a pyramid beam house. The floors are rotten. There's mold everywhere. I haven't found any black mold. That's that's a plus. But there's still mold everywhere. And the roof is about to cave in. And all this other stuff. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a bad place. And a few months ago, I don't even know what month that was, when my wife and I went down south and she ran over a raccoon in her car after we just spent so much money into it getting it all fixed and now the transmission shot in it and everything else so we're out so much money in that and i have this single cab truck we can't go nowhere as a family and now i have put 160,000 miles on this truck in the nine years i've owned it and the transmission's slipping. I don't know whether to get a service on it or what, but we can't. It's just, like I said, it's an uphill fight. And that's not all that's going on. That's just a little smidgen. And that's why I sat on that couch a few weeks ago and was just giving up. Because it seems like it's been this fight mine and my wife's whole marriage of 14 years it's been mainly downhill we've stuck together we put God first in our marriage and we just always tried to be there for one another in difficult times to try to lift each other up it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay though a lot of the times it feels like it's not okay you know sometimes in our marriage we would get lonely because we didn't have any friends you know she don't have any female friends and i didn't have any guy friends to go fishing with or just you know clear your mind we didn't have that we just had each other basically our whole marriage yes i made some friends off here on my channel on youtube but it's not the same when you're hanging out with someone in person i mean it gets tough neither one of us have any family you know when we have troubles or problems we don't have that that landline you know to call them and say hey I'm having a problem and them drop what they're doing and come rush to help us we don't have that at all every time we've moved it's been me and her we couldn't afford moving men we would carry the heavy stuff just just us so for a long time 
I didn't even have anybody that I can depend on to help me at all. And then I made this channel. Y'all are beautiful people. Beautiful people. And then I noticed if we don't have the church, not those buildings, the church, the people, then we really don't have anything here in this world. Because I've seen the beauty of the people in the church. God is amazing. Times I didn't know how we were going to climb out of these holes that we fell in. And then I would tell I tell these stories to try to help somebody out there. I, I really don't do this for anyone to feel sorry for me or anything like that. You know, I'm showing that I'm in the same boat as a lot of you. Y'all came together and prayed for me and helped us out of binds here and there. It's just, there's, there's no way I could ever repay any of you. And I give all the glory to God for all that's been done. And I really try not to reach out here for help. You know, I, I see, and I'm not trying to gossip, so if, if it sounds like it, forgive me, because I'm not. But I see so many channels here on YouTube that ask for money on every single video, and they get thousands and thousands of dollars, and nobody knows where it goes or anything like that, and it just turns people off, I get that, you know? And technically, I am a smaller YouTube channel, but when someone like me actually needs help and says what for in these things, you know, people come and bash smaller channels like mine. All you care about is money. No, that's not what it's about. I mean, do we not need money for things here and there? I mean, it's just part of life. You know, I spill all this to say this as humbly as I can. Right now, we are in a huge bind, and I have no one, no one to reach to, no one, but here. And I pray to God, I can do this on my own without having to reach out anymore to, to YouTube, or it's just, I've got so many applications in everywhere. And with my body in the shape it is, with all the surgeries I've had, I just like, I don't know. I, I guess they see my age and all that. I, I don't know. But it's tiring and it's draining. If anyone out there can help old Gator, it would be deeply, deeply appreciated. I'll put everything in the description below. I love all of you, and again, I apologize. I truly do. I have nowhere else to turn to at all. Romans 10, 9 through 13, I love all of you, and God bless you.